All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So have you guys been trying to get GPUs? Have you been trying to get a fair MSRP at least price? Have you been trying to bid on GPUs on eBay only to find them going way above MSRP? It's ridiculous out there. So prepare to get more ticked off about this whole GPU situation or frustrated about how to acquire, how to get how to get a GPU. So I saw this article, it just came into my inbox. And uh, let's get rid of Mr. Logo here. Ah, couple ammo, there we go. So we got this crypto influencer, I'm not gonna say his name, He's, I don't know this guy. Uh, he, this fool shares a video of hundreds of GE Force RTX 3070, founder editions, most likely non-LHR, I don't know enough about them, uh, cards in his mining farm, this is in a mining farm, but it's, it's really, his mining farm, despite a worsening global GPU shortage. Um, yeah, so this guy goes on Twitter, which again is a sign of not too bright. Why post this on Twitter that you have all this cars and your farm? I mean, right here in this picture, almost one fourth of David, uh, this Joker's farm appears to be GE Force RTX 3070 GPUs. Uh, what a fool. You just post, it's like, don't you don't post this stuff, man? OPSEC, Operation Security. Now people know you have this stuff. They know you have a lot of it, and know you have a farm uh, that big. It's crazy, man. What are you doing? Look, get a little smarter. So anyway, in the midst of a GPU supply crisis that uh, seen consumer GPU prices soar by 300% or more, this crypto influencer never heard of them, so he hasn't influenced me. He's actually ticking me up. Oh my god, my soul alert! It's him. He's texting me. Oh no, he's on to me. Anyway. He uh, shared a video in which he shows off a mining farm with hundreds and hundreds, hundreds and hundreds upon hundreds of GE Force RTX 3070 Founders Edition GPUs, all apparently sourced, get this, off-market directly by him from NVIDIA, dun, 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 raising questions about the underlying reasons for today's GPU price inflation. Now, does this relate to the NVIDIA, the, the GPU shipload that was hijacked? Is that related to this? Is that where these came from? What's going on here? I don't know. I'm just Does this all go together? Or what's going on here, man? Because these things are gold. They're valuable. So you question everything. Don't trust. Question. A bit of graphics card supply crisis that has seen U.S. 500 graphics, $500 graphic card like the GE Force 3070 selling for uh, $1,500 and above a crypto miner. Yeah, this joker recently showed off a farm worth uh, worth with hundreds of uh, GE Force RTX 3070 Founders Edition cards. The catch, dun dun dun. The catch. Who wrote this? Arjun Christian Lai. I don't know who this guy is. Uh, let's see. The catch. All of these cards were sourced directly from Nvidia off market under a special agreement. Even as gamers and other miners, I would say, and people, normal people struggle to find these cards in anything remotely approaching their MSRP. Oh, yeah. My question is, um, how can he do this unless he's a registered reseller? And if I'm a registered reseller and I find out this clown is out there getting cards with NVIDIA's help, when those shipments can be going to my store like a Best Buy or Newegg or Amazon, and I'm going to be Turk because I, I want cards to sell to make money. So I'm guessing maybe they made a special deal where he, they, NVIDIA sold the cars to them above wholesale because they probably have a fixed price they have to sell to the resellers. So they realize, oh, we get more money. We can't sell direct to customers. So we'll get more money by selling to this joker. And then uh, we won't tell our, our resellers. But guess what? This idiot goes out on Twitter and posts pictures like this. I'm sure NVIDIA called them him up and said, what are you doing? Stop it, dude. Take that stuff down. Delete those posts. Uh, but the internet never forgets. I'll have to go check and see if those posts are gone. I'm sure they're, they are, if he's smart. You don't post your farm like that, dude. You're, that's not smart. Oh, my God. Uh, well, so what did this joker do? He shared a brief video on Twitter, a video nonetheless. Oh, my God. Showcasing roughly a quarter of his mining farm, a section comprised entirely of GE Force RTX 37 FE cards. The miner stated that he didn't buy these cards at retail. Oh, dear God. This guy, well, is this guy an idiot? Rather, he negotiated a special deal with NVIDIA to purchase hundreds of them direct off-market. You know NVIDIA is pooping themselves, man. They're going, what is this guy? They may never do this again because this guy exposed them 
for the for the deals they're doing. Is it illegal? Maybe not. It's going to piss off the resellers now. They're going to find out about this, and I'm sure there's going to be some uh, inquiries. And yeah, look at this guy. He's just out there blabbing. He's blabbing, man. What a fool. Anyway. Well, let's see, according to NVIDIA, the cards are meant to uh, rip through most demanding games. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Joker, I'll call him Joker, seems to have negotiated a deal with NVIDIA to divert large amounts of stock straight to his farm. Probably the nice NVIDIA, well, no, it's probably an unmarked truck backed up with a forklift on board and helped him unload. They probably helped him hook him up, too. The video seems particularly egregious on account of the fact that NVIDIA relaunched the uh, RTX 2060 at the same original price as the RTX 3070 on account of, avail of availability issues. You see what's going on here. They wanted to keep it on the down low. This joker comes out and posts it all over the internet. And they're, they're like, you know, they're pissed. They're like, what did you do? And this has came out yesterday, the 17th. So they're like, uh, man, stop it. So, uh, yeah, you know that's going on behind the scenes. He just got chewed out by NVIDIA. Oh, my God. Early, uh, early reports indicated that OEMs like Sapphire were selling mining cards off-market to farms. So there was earlier reports. See the reports. There was uh, probably some whistleblowers going, you know, they're just selling them out of the back of their truck to these guys who show up in uh, pickups, you know, and they load them up in crates. Anyway, but this would, be the, this would mark the first time that we've seen a GPU manufacturer directly implicated. Is it illegal? No. Like I said, the reseller, if I'm an official NVIDIA reseller, I'd be a little ticked and asking for some information on this and inquire. It's like, what are you doing, guys? And if you piss off your manufacturer, I mean, your resellers, that's not a good look, dude. It's not a fair world. It's not a fair market. You're going to get guys like this who make back-end deals. And he paid. had to pay above wholesale. Otherwise, what was NVIDIA? What was NVIDIA getting out of it by giving it to him below what they sell it to uh, Newegg and Amazon and Best Buy for? What was the point, you know? I don't get it because they were going to sell anyway. So they must have sold above wholesale and they, they can't sell direct to customers, I guess. I don't think they do that. Uh, if, any, if NVIDIA does nothing to stop this, well, they're not going to do anything to stop it. They're making money behind making these back-end deals. But they were hoping that this joker would have kept it quiet. So it kind of exposes the deal. So what an idiot this guy is, this guy right here. Hey, dude, you're an idiot. You're smart because you got cards from NVIDIA, but you're an idiot for exposing the deal you made and also posting a video of your farm man what a dummy don't ever do that so that's what i got i saw this article it kind of kind of irked me a bit and that's why my tone is a bit off but it's just stupid i think it's funny the guy posted the deal and i just shake my head and went and a video dude no man no that's you don't do that just keep it on the down low you got your cars hoorah you're the best uh you don't go out there posting it and i'm sure nvidia legal gave you a call and said you gotta stop that man what's wrong with you so if anything, this shows you that crypto mining is hot. If people are doing back-end deals with manufacturers to get cards, if you had any doubt about crypto mining, there's your answer. To be honest, I'm being direct. If people are doing this, then it must be profitable. Unless this guy is, might be a total idiot because he is posting everything he's doing online like that. So, all right, take that with he's a total idiot for giving away the deal and showing his farm that a huge farm, which is not the smartest thing to do. <laughs> it's funny. It's, oh my God. Hey, I did go ahead and I found the video that he posted of his mining farm with all the 3070s he purchased, you know, rightfully from NVIDIA. So here he is bragging and showing all of his servers. Look at it. That is like a professional server room. Uh, looks like there's a raised floor. Uh, look at the lines going up in the back, the power, the air handlers. Those are nice Dell server towers right there. And he's got some stuff on the other side. There is the yeah, more Dell servers standing. So you can count the, the massive. Yeah, look at the floor. It's a raised floor. The, look at the, yeah, the ceiling's got the air handling. That is, oh, look on the right there. The, all right, let's go back. I want to show you this. See those white, big white boxes on the end of the room there? And then when he turns here, wait till you see these. Those are all Dells. Those are all GP right there. Those are all massive power units. Look at that. That is a professional power server farm room. So what's interesting now, having said that, here's the video. It's public domain. It's on Twitter, right? Uh, 
I went through some of these things. I don't use Twitter. I don't have an account, man. I just go in as anonymous and I poke around. You know, I just I hate Twitter. I'm being honest. It's 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 a cesspool of human humanity. And this guy just screwed his own thing up by posting this. You don't do this. You don't post your personal, you know, your business stuff like that. It, it can never end well. Uh, so what happened? Lots of negative ads. Lots of backlash. <laughs> I don't know anything about this guy. I don't know who he is. But if you kick, if you click on it, like this is his uh, Twitter handle. Kablamo. <laughs> Kablamo. Uh, I think the guy got so much heat and backlash, he deleted his account. Some people did dox him. I'm not going to say anything more than that. If you go through and look, you'll say they posted where his whole facility. I'm like, oh, my God, dude, I told you not to do it. So even I'm an idiot, and I know not to do this, and I'm just amazed that he went and made a Twitter feed about it, and then people know who he is and just put out the information it's like, oh, dude, dumb move. So anyway, there's a follow-up to the video. Uh, yeah, go with your gut. It was just irks me that he, he made these deals, but um, he knows people, but I think he backfired big on him, and I'm sure NVIDIA is calling him now, like, what have you done, you idiot? And uh, yeah, it's not a good day for him. Yeah, so his count's gone. And he was an influencer, right, apparently. A cautionary tale. Don't post anything. On Twitter, don't use Twitter. That's Twitter for you. <laughs> oh God! What? I just stumbled upon, upon this article, and I'm going down this rabbit hole. So, what do you guys think? Is what, what is going on? Do you guys know more about this guy? What's his deal? Why does he have a professional server room like that? Holy crap! Most government agencies don't have a room that nice. You know, raised floor, all the cabling underneath. He definitely has money, or maybe it's a business, and he just had extra room, and he's adding to his business. That that may be what's going on. I just don't know enough. I'm speculating. Interesting story, a little drama going on in the crypto world. But if you're looking for GPUs, there's a reason why you can't get them. All right, I'm out.